The Discovery World Aquarium has a couple of places where you can learn about the bathymetry and the topography of Lake Michigan. Bathymetry is the measurement of depth of water in oceans, seas, or lakes. Essentially, how deep is Lake Michigan? Topography is the detailed mapping or charting of the features in a relatively small area, district, or locality. What does the bottom of Lake Michigan look like? Discovery World's Great Lakes Future Area features a model of the Great Lakes where you can see the bathymetry or the depth of Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan's average depth is 279 feet. The deepest point is 925 feet. Our Lake Michigan exhibit features what you would see at the bottom of the lake. This includes the animals, limestone rock, and fallen tree trunks. Lake Michigan is the largest limestone quarry in the world. The limestone was formed over the course of millions of years. It started back in prehistoric times when a shallow sea called the Silurian Sea was covering the region that is now the Great Lakes. The coral and shells that were buried in the sediment form the limestone that we can see in Lake Michigan today. Milwaukee has both sandy beaches and steep bluffs where you can find limestone and fossils. Some of the most commonly found fossils around Milwaukee include bivalves, mollusks, and corals. Some of the fish that we have in our Lake Michigan tank here at Discovery World are lake sturgeon. Lake sturgeon are bottom feeders that inhabit water depths around 30 feet, which is about the depth of Lake Michigan just off the shoreline in Milwaukee. Lake sturgeon use their barbells, or their sensory receptor organs, which look similar to whiskers, to help them locate food on the silty lake bottom. Another fish that we have in our Lake Michigan tank is a walleye. Walleye have excellent low light vision due to a layer of tissue in their eye that reflects more light. This adaptation is common in many nocturnal animals, but it is especially helpful to walleye who inhabit deep shoreline drop-offs. They are able to populate deeper regions of the lake because they are still able to see their prey, whereas other predators would not be able to. Northern pike are another species that we have in our Lake Michigan tank. They are agile hunters and often ambush their prey. Because they are ambush hunters, they can be found in clear rocky waters, like in our tank here, where it sits still waiting for an unsuspecting minnow to come by, or in shallow weedy areas of Lake Michigan, where they lie still among the plants waiting for a meal to come along. Channel catfish can also be found dwelling in deeper dark places in Lake Michigan. Channel catfish are commonly found on lake bottoms that are sandy or gravel and deep in holes where there are logs and rocks that provide protection. In Lake Michigan, they can be found under the fallen tree trunks.